The median is interesting because it's an example of a problem that is normally solved using randomness. You have a large set of numbers, large set of numbers, and uh, if you want to find the maximum of those that set of numbers, you can do it quickly. You run through them, keeping tra track of the largest number you've seen so far, and by the time you get to the end, you have in your hand the largest number in that set. So you can find the max in just one sweep through the through the data. You can find the min the same way. Just keep track of the smallest. Work your way through. One sweep, you will have the smallest. You can find the average of those elements in essentially the same way. You sweep through adding up all the numbers and at the same time count how many numbers you have. You take the ratio, that's the average. So it's kind of nice. You can all get all of those in one sweep. So the question was, can you get the median in one sweep? And uh, there is a randomizing algorithm that can do that for you. It's a beautiful algorithm. And the algorithm basically says, run through and get a set, pick a sample, a random sample of the numbers in the set. Just randomly sample. It's an example where you need to have random number, ra the ability to, to create random numbers in order to get a truly random set. Get a random set of numbers and then pick the median of that subset. That'll be just an approximation to what you want. But once you have that, you can do one sweep to find out how close it is to the median. You might find that it's 10, 10 bigger than it's, there are 10 elements between it and the median. Maybe it's 10, 10 above the median. 10 elements in between. You want to find the right one. You do one sweep keeping a hold of the elements that are 10 smaller than it. And by the time you get done, you will have the, the, that element and the 10 just below it. And now you'll have the median in your hand. So that's essentially linear time to find the median. The question was... Uh, could this be done without randomness at all? And uh, the median algorithm was, was intended to show how you could do that without randomness. It's still not, I doubt that it's really used, the median algorithm. I, I, if I were to pro add a program, I'd use the randomizing algorithm. It's very clean, very fast, simple idea. The, the only trouble with it is that sometimes the number you get from the sample is just so big, maybe it's a thousand bigger than the median, and you can't hold all thousand. So there are occasions when it doesn't give you the answer, uh, whereas the deterministic algorithm is, promises to give you the answer in a certain fixed amount of time, linear time. So that, that was the median algorithm. And that's also an example where randomizing really uh, is a great boon over the deterministic.